where too many slaves were brought across in the Middle Passage. We feel that both countries, Morocco and Barbados, represent to each other a beachhead and hub for the unlocking of opportunities not only at the national level, but at the regional levels for both of us. For us, we see Morocco as a hub and a beachhead in Africa, Northern Africa in particular, and the Arab states. For you, we hope that you will see Barbados as a hub for the, not only the Caribbean, but for Latin America and Central America, and indeed North America, because of our location. We are only 3,400 odd miles apart, and traditionally, it is for us a trip that we take north to London, that is almost eight hours, but a trip to Morocco is in fact less than the eight hours that we take to go to London. So I do believe that the opportunities for deep cooperation, um, be it in the area of tourism, be it in the area of maritime um, affairs and fisheries, be it in the area of renewable energy, be it in the area of health, be it in the area of education and training, not just of academic um, pursuits, but also in the technical and vocational area, in the area of heritage preservation, in the area of cruise tourism, where we have perfected and have been working in home porting, that both countries have the opportunity to learn from each other. But more importantly, we have a similar approach to global affairs. We are rooted in the same values and we believe that we have a common purpose and mission with respect to how we want to develop our people. We are in fact buoyed further by the fact that Morocco has been a leading global voice in the fight against climate change, as has Barbados, recognizing that we in fact are on the front line of the negative consequences of climate change and more particularly with the warming of the oceans because 400 times our jurisdiction is in fact our maritime area, our oceans, as compared to our land. So this opportunity to deepen and to broaden the relationship between our countries is not only based and premised on diplomatic engagement or policy engagement, but today in Casablanca, Invest Barbados also hosted an investment forum for members of the chamber there, as well as um, the CDEM, as well as the American Moroccan Chamber, and we brought some of our leading business people and advisors um, within the legal and tax and accounting professions to Morocco to be able to start the platform for cooperation and business solutions being provided for each other. I am happy, therefore, to have been able to meet with a number of key ministers and ministries and members of the private sector and look forward to further meetings today and tomorrow. And we trust and believe that the projection of this commitment to an Atlantic destiny for my nation, which is the first land mass that you meet after you cross the Atlantic Ocean, is really and truly us fulfilling a historical imperative in the 21st century. That we also believe in a peaceful world that is born of tolerance and that will allow for diversity, particularly with religious tolerance, is one that both of our countries support. And I think that our voices, therefore, have relevance in the world together because together we are stronger when we make the same points born of the same values at a time when the world needs to hear our voice more than ever on religious tolerance and diversity and in the battle against climate change that is having negative consequences for too many of our people. So I thank you, Minister. I would want to invite the Minister of Foreign Affairs as well as my own Minister of Foreign Affairs to fulfill you in on the details of the roadmap which has been signed and to give you comfort that we have not only looked at the broad picture and the broad relationship, but we have started to drill down in a way that will bring concrete action and prosperity to the peoples of both of our nations. Thank you for your warm Thank you. hospitality. Thank, Thank you, Madam Prime Minister. Thank you very much. The ziyara that you take with you, Sayyid Al-Wazir Al-Ola to Barbados, is a very important part of the Sayyid Wazir Al-Kharijiyah and a group of 
الممثلين عن قطاعات مهمة هي زيارة هامة جدا زيارة تأتي لتعزيز وتوطيد العلاقات بين البلدين زيارة تأتي لإعطاء وفق توجيهات جلالة الملك طابع ملموس لشراكة جنوب جنوب بين بلدين أكيد أن بينهم مسافة جغرافية وبينهم بعد جغرافي ولكن لهم نفس الطموح ولهم نفس الرؤية حول العلاقات بين الدول النامية يا هما دولتين تثقان في أن التعاون جنوب جنوب يمكن أن يعطي نتائج متمرة إذا كان متجه نحو مشاريع ملموسة وإذا كان قائم على رؤية واضحة وقطاعات معينة يمكن فيها أن نتعاون بشكل أوسع زيارة السيدة الوزيرة الأولى لباربيدوس والوفد المرافق لها كانت مناسبة لتأكيد حرص المملكة المغربية على تعميق الشراكة في كل القطاعات مع هذا البلد كما قلت بأن نجعل من باربيدوس قاعدة لتحرك المغرب في منطقة الكاريب وأن يساعد المغرب الكاريب كذلك على الانفتاح على محيطه العربي والإفريقي خلال هذه الزيارة وقعنا على ثلاث وثائق الوثيقة الأولى هي تتعلق بتعزيز الحوار السياسي كما قالت سيدة الوزيرة الأولى لدينا نفس التوجه لمعالجة القضايا الشاملة سواء تعلق الأمر بالجريمة المنظمة سواء تعلق الأمر بالتغيرات المناخية سواء تعلق الأمر بتعزيز حضور وثيق الدول النامية في المفاوضات التجارية في كل هذه القضايا هناك حاجة إلى تنسيق أكثر جمهورية البربيدوس لها دبلوماسية متعددة الأطراف نشيطة ويمكن أن ننسق في مجموعة من القضايا والقضايا الشاملة التي تهمنا معا خاصة مسألة التغيرات المناخية وقضايا المرتبطة بالتجارة والتنمية الوثيقة الثانية التي وقعنا عليها هي خارطة الطريق للتعاون خلال الثلاث سنوات المقبلة هذه الوثيقة حاولنا أن تكون أن ترتكز على عمليات ومشاريع ملموسة أن لا تبقى فقط تصريح نوايا ولكن أن تركز على مبادرات ملموسة في قطاعات السياحة في التنمية الاستثمار الفلاحة الطاقات المتجددة وغيرها في كل هذه القطاعات اتفقنا على خطة عمل اتفقنا على أن تشتغل الجهات المختصة بشكل سريع لتنفيذ كل ما اتفقنا عليه بهذا الشكل سنوضح بأن دولتين من دول الجنوب يمكنهما أن تعطي مضمون ملموس لشراكة جنوب جنوب وأن تتحدى البعد الجغرافي بل أن تجعل من البعد الجغرافي بدل أن يكون حاجز أن يكون عنصر مساعد الوثيقة الثالثة هي بيان مشترك أكدنا فيه الرغبة على تعزيز أو القفز بالعلاقات الثنائية إلى مستوى آخر إلى مستوى أعلى اتفقنا فيه على أن هناك رغبة مشتركة في الاشتغال كذلك على مستوى إقليمي واتفقنا كذلك حول وجهة نظرنا حول مجموعة من القضايا الإقليمية والدولية وفي كل هذه القضايا 
كان هناك يعني وجهة نظر متقاربة جدا في مختلف هذه القضايا عبرنا عن عبر الجانب المغربي عن شكره وارتياحه للموقف البناء الذي اتخذته جمهورية باربيدوس حول قضية الصحراء المغربية والتي نعتبره موقف منسجم مع القانون الدولي ومع التوجه العام للمجموعة الدولية هذيك اذا عن بعض النتائج لهذه لهذه الزياره بالاضافه الى اللقاءات المثمره التي قامت بها السيده الوزيره الاولى ووفدها مع قطاعات حكوميه ومع رجال اعمال مغاربه اذا فهي محطه مهمه في العلاقات الثنائيه وكما اكدت ذلك السيده الوزيره الاولى الاساسي الان هو متابعه ما اتفقنا عليه وتنفيذه لما فيه لما من شأنه أن يعزز العلاقات بين البلدين شكرا سيدة الوزيرة الأولى على هذه الزيارة الناجحة ويمكن يمكنكم الاعتماد على المغرب كشريك فاعل وكشريك له مستقبل لتنفيذ كل التزامات Good afternoon, members of the press. I must again repeat what my Prime Minister has said in terms of expressing our appreciation to the government and indeed the people of Morocco in terms of the hospitality which we've received in the last 24, more than just over 24 hours. And certainly has been a very hectic period since we've been here, since we arrived yesterday afternoon. It has been quite successful and we've come to agreement on a number of issues and indeed as the Honourable Minister has stated, we've come to consensus and consensus and agreement on a number of areas as he outlined them, I'm not going to repeat them again in terms, but they were outlined clearly in a roadmap which we just signed earlier. There's one matter which he has, however, not mentioned, a very important matter, and I just want to say, to add on to what has been said already in terms of regarding the Sahara issue, that the government of Barbados calls on all parties to carry on in good faith negotiations to maintain the momentum initiated by the Moroccan Autonomy Plan, which, as I said a couple of weeks ago, is credible, serious, and realistic and to favor a political solution based on realism and the spirit of compromise within the Moroccan territorial integrity in conformity with the resolutions of the UN Security Council. The government of Barbados, which had frozen in 2013 its recognition of the so-called Sardar SADR, decides today to withdraw its recognition of the so-called Sardar and in this context, we will now be following the actions already taken by over 162 countries across the world. So this is what we also agreed today. In closing, I want to convey our greetings and continued best wishes to His Majesty King Mohammed VI. I want again to thank you, Minister, for the hard work and in terms of preparation and accommodation. And I want to close with a phrase my Prime Minister used yesterday. This occasion marks a movement together, joining together of Morocco and Barbados in a journey for further and future development of our two countries. I thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, there's one other thing, sorry. Yeah, How could I forget? Uh, uh, there was one important thing in, in last, in April, April Barbados a tourism declaration, there was one important thing. Uh, we decided to remove the visa requirements uh, yes. for Moroccans yeah. traveling to Barbados. <laughs> yes. In this regard, I'm hopeful and exhorting you to quickly remove the similar requirement for Moroccans and let us have reciprocity in terms of waiving visa the requirement of visas to travel to both countries, recognizing that Morocco is a tourist country and Barbados is also a tourist country. I thank you for your indulgence.